It's 1945 and rain falls on Sportsman's Park in St. Louis. The hope and dreams of the Detroit Tigers hang in the balance as Hank Greenberg approaches the plate. His skills have gotten rusty after almost four years of Army service, making him an unlikely hero in this moment. Set in his stance, he watches the first pitch fly by. The pressure is crushing. He's a hero of the Jewish people, and loud anti-Semitic voices would love to see him fail. Screw it, he thinks. I'm just going to play ball. And when the pitch comes, Hank knocks it into the stands. This is the story of Hank Greenberg, baseball legend and badass Jew. Hank Greenberg is born in Greenwich Village in 1911 to Romanian Jewish parents, and from a young age, he dreams of playing in the majors. He spends all his free time at batting practice, swinging away until his hands are bloody and raw. In 1930, his hard work pays off, and after a single semester at NYU, he leaves to play full-time for the Detroit Tigers. Now in the big leagues, he faces an onslaught of insults and anti-Semitism from opposing players and fans alike. He decides to teach them a lesson, sometimes by smashing the ball, sometimes by smashing the players. In 1934, Greenberg hits 58 home runs, nearly topping Babe Ruth's record. He's the first star to refuse to play on Yom Kippur. When duty calls, Greenberg volunteers, and he's the longest serving Major League Baseball player in World War II. In 1945, he returns to the game and goes right back to smashing the ball. He is one of the few players to offer encouragement to Jackie Robinson. Robinson is quoted as saying, Class tells, and it sticks out all over Mr. Greenberg. In 1947, Hank Greenberg retires from baseball and moves to the executive box. He passes away in 1986, having paved the way for future Jewish athletes and setting a new bar for sportsmanship. Hammerin' Hank Greenberg, Badass Jew. <laughs>